Hey everyone, welcome back to Airbrush 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about using your airbrush and having a great time doing it. Because airbrushes are awesome, as you probably are aware by now. And this is part 20, how to make lava bases or lava OSL effect using an airbrush. Enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome to Airbrush 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about using your airbrush effectively and having a great time doing it. Um, today, for our airbrush tutorial, we will be creating a lava base. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I did some pre-work on this lava base. I created the base itself, which was pretty easy. I just added some green stuff and some sand on top of painting the green stuff. Uh, I primed the entire amount of black and then dusted the green the green stuff with uh, with raven gray or raven black. Sorry, from Minotaur. But today we're gonna create the lava effect. Now the lava effect is two parts: the lava itself and once again the OSL. So for the OSL, the key is, uh, if you're doing the OSL on the model, which I'm not gonna be showing in this tutorial, actually I might show a bit. You know what, I'm gonna show a little bit of the model as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll show the model as well. Because this is kind of a, a link in with the, uh, with the painting tutorial of the week. But with the, with the lab itself, the key is, Start off with a dark color, a red, and we're gonna work our way through reds, oranges, and yellows. All I'm gonna do is take some reds and some yellows and then combine them to make the oranges and then the yellows on their own. And then with each step, go thinner and thinner spray patterns. So you wanna get closer to the object or more control, precise in your trick control or lower, uh, lower PSI on your compressor. Either one will lead to the same effect. And we're gonna go with a, th a thinner stream. At the very end, we'll do a little bit of white to add that really, really bright effect on the lava. And uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and create a lava base using an airbrush. And today I'll be using my Sotar 2020 because it's just a more precise airbrush and it, it's great. I can use my my Patriot 105 if I wanted to, but it's just easier to use a Sotar 2020. It's a nice, precise airbrush. And we're gonna do some nice, very nice, clean, fine lines. So let's go ahead and make our lava base. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to now make a lava base. So basically all this is, is I've made some green stuff, put it around the base, put sand on top of it, primed the entire base black, and then I airbrushed the, the uh, gravel parts, uh, Raven Black from Minotaur, which is like a gray liner. It's a dark matte gray. And that's it. So today we will be using this base to create a lava base. Another reason is obviously it's going with this week's painting tutorial, so I figured it's a good time. And so the key is well, we're just using a combination of reds, like Mephiston Red here. We'll be using um, Evil Sun Scarlet, Wild Rider Red, and then adding in yellows to make oranges and bright yellows and, and so forth. So I'll be going over those in a moment. But the key is with making a lava base is not too hard. Basically, first step is try to keep it relatively clean. You know, you can't go on the sides, especially with the reds, because all it will do is create an, um, the illusion of OSL, of object source lighting from the brightness of this. And then as we work our way towards the middle parts, we're gonna go lighter and lighter, and the key is to move your airbrush closer and closer, or decrease your um, decrease your PSI, but we're gonna go thinner lines and thinner and thinner, just down to here, and so forth. That's essentially the key. So as I said, I'm gonna be using my, my SOTAR 2020 today, because it's my handy dandy, really, nice detail airbrush. I can do the same thing with my, uh, my other one. I just would rather do an easier way of this. And as you can see, I'm gonna do red around the entire base, and then I'll work my way lighter. And each step later, I'm gonna work my way away from the gravel places and just towards the center part of the base. And then at the end, I'm gonna apply a nice gloss varnish to make it all nice and shiny. So let's go ahead and uh, make this lava base. As I said, I'm not gonna be talking much during it. Um, no, so this is probably just gonna be talked over, but as I always do, gloves, mask, everything good. So let's go and make this a lava base. So of course I began with Mephiston Red, and with all these colors, I thinned them down using airbrush thinner. That way you get a nice flowing consistency throughout the airbrush, otherwise it would be impossible to use with the Sotar 2020. And as you can see, I'm just using nice uh, fine lines, and I'm painting the surface around the rocks. And as I said, if you get a little bit on the rocks, that's okay because it just ends up being an OSL anyway. And also it kind of defines the ultimate boundaries of the, um, of the effect, essentially. And what you're gonna find is that on the outer rocks, towards the edge where I'm painting now, it's gonna be more red, but towards the center, that's where the OSL will be the brightest because that's where the stream of lava will be going down. 
So as I said, the key is to take your time, get a nice pattern, um, and, and with each step, you're going to use less and less paint in your airbrush, less and less thinner, of course, and you're just going to focus more central in each step. Don't worry about getting it on the base lip. You can easily clean that up later with just a brush and some black paint. So next I went to Evil Sun Scarlet. Did the same thing, but as you can see here, I'm trying to angle my my lights so that you can see the wet paint. Because the things with these airbrushes, they can go on really nice and smooth. So the key is, I want to show you where I'm painting right now. So as you can see, I'm focusing towards more central. And building the Mephisto on Red is now at the very edges of the, of the base. But um, more central is the Evil Sun Scarlet. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to increase our our colors, uh, the brightness of our color, and go more central with each step. And as I said, this could easily be done using uh, a Patriot 105, just decrease your, your uh, PSI, or keep your airbrush very, very close to the model, or in this case, the base. These base holders are really handy for this kind of effect, because that way you can just keep your hands free to do it. Uh, next I went to Wild Rider Red, of course, the next brightest red. And then I added some flash kits yellow a little bit at a time to create an orange because I really don't use that many oranges. So what I did was I added some flash kits yellow, so it's now a three to one mix of Wild Rider Red to flash kits yellow. And once again, focus more central, getting a nice smooth spray pattern. But as you can see now, I'm starting to cross really into the parts in between the, the craters. Um, I'm just trying to get, it. and that's okay because as you can see, it's just producing an OSL. And it really works really well, man, as you can see, uh, because that's gonna be—they're gonna be right beside the, the brightest part, so you're allowed to get paint on the sides in that case. And then I added a little more flash gets yellow, making a two-to-one ratio. Repeated this process, making it narrower, focusing more central. And as you can see now, the oranges are really starting to build up really nicely. This is especially uh, a great, a uh, great thing if you're gonna do multiple bases at the same time. Because then you can, um, you know, just do them in a in a line order, and then that way you, you don't have to frequently change paints. And it works really well doing multiple ways at the same time. And uh, then I had more flash gets yellow, making it one to one mix. And I totally forgot about the mid tone yellow, so I'm going to do that next. Just get some yellows now on the bases. As you can see now, I'm just focusing more central with each step, getting a little OSL on the rocks, and that's the really good part. It doesn't it it's a very cool effect with this. And since the craters are so small, you can get away with spraying upwards. Typically, the OSL should be coming from beneath, uh, but I will be doing that with the model itself, which is the critical part. But since these craters are so small, you can get away with spraying from above all the time. And I had more flash gets yellow, making it a one to two mix, essentially. So more flash gets yellow than wild red red, focusing more central. As I said, if the uh, boulders were larger, I, you'd have to spray from beneath to get the OSL on the boulders, but in this case you can kind of get away with this because they're so small. And then next, aerial yellow, and did the same thing, just right up the center. And what you'll notice that in the end, the last couple steps, I'm intentionally not going to go with a perfectly linear straight line, because that's not how lava really works, it tends to flow a little bit more. So to, to go along with more of that pattern, I'm not going to create a perfect straight line. I'm trying to do a, some fatter parts, some, some thinner parts, and then do something with flash gets yellow down the center. And then finally, this is the, the piece de resistance here, is a little bit of white. Because if you do white, in this case it's going to be us, so snow white from Minotaur. I'm just going to do a white line down the center. And you can see it, it appears really bright at the beginning. But it will dry, and it will dry more blended with the yellows. And what it does is it creates that really infinitely bright effect. That it's so bright, it creates that white light. And uh, that really brings this lava base to life. And as you can see, I didn't do a perfect line. I made it thinner in some areas, thicker in others. And there you go. In the end, after I just uh, did a black line around the rim of the base, you have a nice, even OSL appearance. Lava base. I really like that white down the middle because it makes it look insanely bright and it does kind of trick the eyes into making it think it's a yellow because it blends really well with it. And uh, yeah, it looked good. And now it's time to put the guy on and uh, now we have a lava base under the miniature. And now for the guy himself, what I did was you have to spray him from underneath because that is the source of the light, right? The object source lighting is coming from beneath, so you have to spray him from beneath. So what I do is I held him and I sprayed his pattern from underneath. And what I knew is I knew that his feet were approximately in the area that Wild Rider Red should have been for the OSL. So I started there with the feet and I just did o uh, the Wild Rider Red under the, under the feet and under the entire body. 
and then I did skip and I'm not showing all the steps and then what I did was I worked my way towards the same colors towards the body the center of the body which would be just over the lava pit itself and I just increased the colors and for example here is the flash gets the bright the orange and I'm just focusing now on the more central parts of his body so the uh, the, the bottom of his, of his clothing and the bottom of him basically that's how you create the object source lighting on the model itself you just uh, you gotta remember approximately where each light source is on the model and then match that accordingly to the base and of course spray from the direction of the light source as you can see now I'm just focusing on the bottom of him and just getting that bright uh, orange in the center so there we have it. Here is the model in the end. It is all finished. And as you can see, the OSL turned out really cool. I love the fact that it's really nice and bright off the garment and the feet, which is what matters essentially because the lab is coming from here. On the other side, same thing. It's on the bottom here and they're, uh, they're, cool. they're you know, it's bright there. But the key is, was uh, for the OSL on the bottom is you want to hit the guy from beneath. So you want to hold him at an angle like that as I did and from beneath and then it looks awesome and as I said any of the lights that gets on around it just ends up looking like OSL it has such a great glow effect and that is lava bases in a nutshell people you want to get a thinner line with each step blend the colors lots of colors at the end that white really brings it to life makes it look blindingly bright and the OSL on the feet and the body around him so he's good and he's gonna walk around on the lava and kick some butt And that concludes this week's Airbrush 101 episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit. It was really fun to create the lava base and the OSL effect. So as I said, the key is, is to create thinner and thinner lines with each step. You can get on the spray pattern around it because it just ends up looking like an object source lighting effect. It has this great lighting effect. And then obviously when painting the miniature, uh, the key is to flip them upside down and then paint from below. And uh, that way you hit the certain areas because that's where the light source would be coming from, below. And uh, of course you work towards the feet with the far colors because basically the, his feet were basically defined as the, as the edges of the light source. And then towards the center, stronger color. So a much brighter tone. And that's it. So when you combine the two, you get a really nice combined effect between the two. And as I said, the key is just multiple lines. The more colors, the better. Each time decreasing your line pattern and uh, using that OSL. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Airbrush 101. Stay tuned for more episodes. Leave a comment in the comment section down below what you thought and anything else you want me to cover in future videos. And I'll do my best to make sure that every suggestion happens. So until next time, this is Jay saying thank you very much for subscribing to Warp and happy painting with your airbrush. <laughs>